Hey guys, this is Harry with UberTech, back with another video. Today's video is going to be how to disassemble and reassemble a MMP bodyguard. The first thing we're going to do is make sure that the gun is safe. And for first time gun owners, I want to show you how to do that. The first thing we're going to do is remove the mag by pushing the mag release right here. As you can see, there's no ammo in the mag, but that doesn't mean that the gun is still safe. What we have to do is we have to rack the slide back and check the barrel in order to make sure that the gun is 100% safe. So the first thing you're going to do is make sure your safety is in a down position like this and then push up on the slide lock while pulling the slide to the rear of the gun. Now that we have the slide locked back, we can check the barrel to make sure there's no ammo. And as you can see right here, there is no ammo in the barrel. So now the gun is 100% safe. Next, we're gonna have to remove the takedown pin. In order to do that, we're gonna push the takedown pin to the six o'clock position. And once it's there, we're gonna do a pulling and twisting motion to remove the pin, just like this. Now let's take the slide off. So first we're gonna pull back on the slide while pulling down on the slide lock. Once you feel the slide unlock, pull forward to the front of the gun and that's it. Our next step is to remove the recoil spring. Because the spring and rod are not attached to one another, you wanna make sure you get a good hold of it so this way it doesn't fly out of your hand when you remove it. I recommend grabbing it right here while pulling it upward to unlock it from the barrel. Next, you're going to push the barrel to the front of the slide slightly, then pull the barrel upward and slide it out. Once you've done this, you have successfully disassembled the bodyguard. Now let's put it back together. Your first step is to take your slide and insert your barrel. You're going to take the front of the barrel and insert it into this hole right here of the slide, just like this. Make sure the barrel block right here drops into the injection port like that. Now we can install the recoil spring. You're going to take this part of the spring and insert it right here into the slide. On the other side, you're going to make sure this gets inserted into the barrel lug right here. You're going to compress the spring towards the front of the slide and then once you get near the barrel lug, you're gonna push down to lock it in. It should look like this when you're done. Now it's time to install the slide. You're gonna take these two notches right here and slide them onto the frame rails right here and here. Once you get the slide to this point, you're gonna start pushing up on the slide lock right here and you're gonna hold it up while you pull the slide to the rear of the gun. Once you feel it lock, you can let go, and now we can install the takedown pin. Before we can install the takedown pin, we have to make sure that the barrel is in the correct position. How we do that is we look into this hole, and you can see, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see it on camera, but there's a portion in here as it's going back and forth, you can see it's obstructing the hole for the takedown pin. You're gonna make sure that the barrel is pulled all the way to the front of the gun so you have a clear passageway for the takedown pin. Now that we have the barrel in the correct position, take the takedown pin, make sure it's in the six o'clock position and insert it into the hole. Once the takedown pin is in the hole, Start turning it to the three o'clock position while pushing and you should hear it click and lock into place. Now you're gonna pull back on the slide while pulling down on the slide lock. Once the slide unlocks, follow it forward. Normally at this point, I would install the mag, but with this particular gun, you have to do a function test prior to putting the mag in. I'll explain why after we do our function test. In order to perform the function test, you're gonna rack the slide a few times, then point the gun in a safe direction and pull the trigger. If everything performs properly, 
you can install the mag and you're done. Okay, now I'm going to explain why you do the function test prior to installing the mag. Take notice to the slide lock. It's in the down position right now. When you install the mag, it gets pushed upward, which means the very first time you try to rack the slide, it will get locked back and you can't perform the function test. So that's why I install the mag last. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. If you found it helpful, please give it a big thumbs up. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. And please subscribe because it helps my channel grow. Thanks for watching my video, and I'll see you in the next one.